Okay, so we talked about the geometric. We talked about cosine. Now, the, the other one you know is the, is the, the sine function. So write this over here. Sine of u. That's going to be, um, let's say, u minus u cubed over 3 factorial plus u5. And it's got, a, it's got a really nice, very nice pattern to it. This one of the, the, the first, I guess one of the first ones we've derived, and this goes back quite a few chapters, by the way, or sections of my notes. It's going to be u7 over 7 factorial. And hopefully the pattern's obvious at that point. I'm going to write it as a sum. And let's put that down. And I'm going to say n equals 0 to infinity. And let's put this down. And I'm looking at these um, alternating pattern first. So I'm going to say minus 1 to the end. That'll give me plus, minus, plus, minus forever and ever. Let me look at the, uh, the u in it. I'm going to say u. And the first thing I notice is 1, 3, 5, 7. It's going up by 2. So I say 2n, then minus 1. No, nope, plus 1, sorry. Let me see if that's true. If n is 0, I would get 1. If n is 1, I'd get 3, so forth and so on. What goes on bottom? Well, I'm going to say this is going to be, let's see, it goes down by 2, so this would be 1 factorial. So what goes over here? 2n plus 1 factorial. And we're done. What's the, the interval conversion? You can be any real number, by the way. So let's write this one down. It doesn't look bad to do. I'll put it over here, and I'll write it as the sum. The sum, n equals 0 to infinity, minus 1 to the nth power. What's u? It's x to the 5. Put this down. And we're raising that to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 factorial. x can be any real number. What does it mean? The interval uh, of convergence is between minus infinity and infinity. Any number will do, by the way. All right? So the, I'm going to say th this should be in the answer key, and hopefully it is, right? Unless I made a mistake. I'll see this. I see that there. I see that. I see this. And I see this. Um, I also want to say the, the series value for all x, I wrote that over there. Uh, they did something else over here, and what they did was just kind of simplify the exponent. You know, 5 times 2n is 10n, and 5 times 1 is 5. Thank you.